I think grief so much is like your creepy cousin that comes unannounced and stays at your house for weeks and weeks, lays on your couch, makes long distance phone calls, eats all your food and tells you every stupid political thought that's in his head. And you just wish so badly he'd leave. <laughs> Actually, he does. We wanted to bring a lot of joy to people's hearts. And although I was messed up, I was broken, I was, I was hurting from a divorce. Cooper was the current. He was the joyful, he was the joyful current that kept it all on track. I had a good life. And that life was being Cooper's mom. <laughs> now what do I do? I had three dogs in my adulthood. I had Rosie and I had Toby and I had Cooper. And I loved all three of my dogs. Beyond words, I loved all three. But Cooper, Cooper was, he was special. He had a special, he had, a, he had no malice, he had no anger to him. He, he was docile and kind and funny and determined and full of joy. And that's all he ever wanted was for people to play and be happy. And he, his joy was contagious. Cooper was with me when I was married and I lived in a big home and he had a fenced in backyard. When I got a divorce, uh, I moved into a, a small apartment and my ex-husband had a house so I let him have Cooper. And he took Cooper up north and he lost him up north fishing, but he did not tell me that. And so Cooper became a stray. He got pneumonia and was taken to a shelter and the English Setter Society of Michigan was called in and they rescued Cooper and they nursed him back to health. So a few months later I asked to see Cooper and my ex-husband finally admitted that he had lost Cooper and that he didn't know where he was. And then he changed his story a few times. I can't even keep track of what he told me. So I did everything I could to try to find Cooper. And six months went, went by. So one night I thought, you know, it's time to move on. It's just time to move on. I, I, I'm never going to find my Cooper. He's gone. So I went on. Uh, I think it was Pets.com, and uh, I'm sitting there like 11 o'clock at night, and I'm looking at the dogs, and suddenly I see Cooper's picture. It's Cooper. He's up for adoption. And it says, my name is Cooper, and I want to cuddle with you. And I called them right away. I, I wrote and I called. I said, that's my dog. That's my dog. And Cindy and Tim from the Michigan English Setter Society, they were wonderful. And like five days later, they drove Cooper back to me. Brought him back to me. 
and we kind of um, we kind of jumped into each other's arms. <laughs> Pause. And Tim, he's a great man who who uh, fosters English setters. His wife really loved Cooper, and I could tell they didn't they didn't really want to give him up. But after they saw how Cooper and I were together, they let me have Cooper back. And that was in 2011. So perhaps some of my bond with Cooper was because I loved him, I raised him, I had him, and then I lost him, and then I found him again. And he helped me heal after my divorce. He was an angel. And we started our YouTube channel <laughs> together. We wanted to pay it forward. We wanted to give people happiness and joy. Sometimes I would get carried away at night and it'd be like 3 o'clock in the morning and I'd still be editing and he'd be like, Hello, it's time to go to bed. Come on. <laughs> he seemed so happy because he had his own little, because I have a queen size bed. <laughs> And he had his side of the bed with his little blanket and his toys and he would always, you know, that was his side of the bed and then I would get in and then, you know, he would cuddle up and we'd say goodnight. And he always seemed so happy, just like we're a family and we're going to go to sleep and then in the morning we're going to have a great walk and a great adventure. and. That's the way it was. Sometimes, you know, we'd put the camera up and we'd start filming, you know, and we'd be hanging out in bed reading or something, you know, and then more often than not, we would, we would just forget the camera was there. <laughs> the battery would go down and I'd have like two hours worth of footage. like a little angel, he, he, a little white angel, and, and the look on his face was that of freedom and peace, and all I thought about was, you know, that he was at the Rainbow Bridge, and, and, and he was free, and he was happy, and I would see him again. It wasn't goodbye. It, well, it was like goodbye for now. We're a lot of things. With this channel, we love, we love makeup, we love skincare, we love fashion, we love sharing stories about how we're coping with uh, being mature women. We, we do a lot of fun things here. But we're dog lovers here, we're pet lovers here, and, and we support each other. And I thank you for loving Cooper. I was so lucky to have Cooper for the time that I did. And he made me a better person and a stronger person. So I'm anxious to see what the future brings. <laughs>